get your money, don't care who judge Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love Stay out the way, if you a gangster, killer or thug Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement Now your name on affidavits and court indictments Can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes up Yo, what's good y'all, what's the word, what's going on? Y'all already know what time it is Second one of the week, man. Let's get it, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I don't mind dropping these videos. As long as y'all keep telling me y'all been staying out the way, man. I like hearing the positive energy from the uh, comments. I love to hear how dudes be telling me they've been out the way since they've been home from prison. Like, that's the best way to be, man. Majority of the time, y'all hear me preaching like this. I'm preaching to a lot of dudes that already been in my shoes before, man. Like, I don't want to see none of y'all go back, man. We must stay out here, enjoy our damn life. And just keep living, man. That's it, man. I don't want to see us go in this place that I be telling these stories about. It's a scary, spooky place, y'all. I'm telling y'all, you don't want to be there, man. So with that being said, just stay y'all ass out the way. That's all I want y'all to do, man. Not just dudes that been, even people that hasn't been. Stay out the way. You don't want to never experience it, man. Live the good life, man. Keep staying out here with the good things, man. There's bad things in there. But let's get it, man. Let's turn this one up. We need this one to go up. Second one of the week. Let's get it, y'all. We need it to go up. So like, share, and subscribe. Everybody that's new, share it out to somebody, man. Somebody keep sharing it, man. Let's go. We need this one to go up. Let's go. Let's turn this one up, y'all. We need this to go up all the way, man. Like, share, and subscribe, man. That's what we doing. That's what we doing, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I ain't going to hold y'all up, though. I ain't going to hold y'all up. And the story I got for y'all today is called... It's levels to this, Johnny. Yeah, man. That's why I had to tell my homeboy, man, that it's damn levels to this, man. And I'm going to take y'all to like 2011, maybe 2010, the end of 10. Maybe 2000, end of 10. It was a long time ago. Right in there between those areas right there. But we are in Lawrenceville for this story right here. And I can remember, man, like, when I finally, like, figured out, like, y'all have to understand, like, when it comes to women working in prison, you will hear from all type of different angles of how everybody's perspective is about how it is with the CO women in prison. But how I experienced how the CO women was in prison, I experienced it like they are out of control at an all-time high, even when I was on Sussex. So by the time I got to Lawrenceville, it was like pandemonium. It was like, it was crazy, man. I'm talking about, like, it was everywhere, and they was choosing who they wanted to be with. A woman would choose who she want to be with on Lawrenceville, it would be the ones that you would think would never break, the ones that you feel like it's the toughest of the tough or the batch, they have a batch of them coming through, and the ones that you would feel like is the toughest one out the whole damn batch, she would be the first one to break, man. And that's how crazy penitentiary is when it comes to messing with women in there, man. I'm telling y'all, and I said this in my prior stories, man, like, they will have them, they will have, when they training these women, they will be in the, um, a, a, a little room and they'll be running down to them all the game that an inmate will come at them with if this ever, they ever put in a situation where an uh, inmate is trying to holler at them. Now, they would say, don't believe the sob stories. Don't believe this. Don't believe that. Don't say he can do this. Don't go for it. Just do your job. Ignore them. Keep it moving. They are killers. They are murderers. They are drug dealers. They are gang members. Leave them alone. Even after all that installing that into their damn brain, it doesn't work, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it doesn't work, man. The CO women will come to the prison and they will actually choose who they want to be with. They will have a relationship on the street and they will have a boo in prison. It sounds weird, but that's what's going on. I guarantee you, if you were a woman watching this and you pulling a damn application, it wouldn't be long. It's a casting over in there waiting on you some damn way. Trust me, and he will get you. There's no running from guys. You put in that application, you liable to get bagged, man. I'm telling you, that's just how it goes. So, like I say, we on Lawrenceville for this one, man. 2010, 2011, around this time. But anyway, I can remember a time, man. I knew a dude, man. He was from my hometown, man. He was from Norfolk, man. And I'm going to say his name on this jump. His name was Johnny, man. He was my homeboy, man. But I can remember I was in 33 pod, you know what I mean? Chilling, doing my thing, relaxing, doing a good bid, staying out the way. 
trying to trying to trying to see if I can get me a couple dollars because I see what this prison is. I see how this prison is. I see dudes running all over the place getting money. I see this dude got a roller. This he got a girl. She bringing a sack. This dude got a girl bringing a sack. It's sack every goddamn where. Pause. It's everywhere, man. Sacks are every goddamn where, man. And dudes is winning up there, and I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. Man, I know that they have an advantage on me, but they've been down probably about uh, 11 years, 10 years now. So I'm kind of like already knowing like how it is. Like I'm not a dude that holler at women. Like I want to. Now like, if a woman act like she feeling me, then yeah, I'll probably try to pursue it. But it's so much that come with hollering at women, and I have seen all the tw twist and turns and all how it be the beefs, the jealousy, the haters, everything. I have seen it all, and I said that wasn't for me, y'all. I said there's other ways for me to get money in here without having to go through this. And majority of everybody I have seen get a CO, they never last. So I just stayed back, man. So at the time, it was a CO that was working in our pod, y'all. She used to work the building, not the pod. And she was the type of CO, man, like she wasn't all that good looking. I'm not even going to lie, man. And for real, she turned out to be all right. So I'm definitely not going to say her name. But this CO right here, man, like she was just somebody she would do. She would work the booth a lot. You know what I mean? If she's not in the booth, then she will come down every blue moon. Sometimes, you know, to talk to whoever she wanted to talk to. But for the most part, she used to always sometimes kick it with me. And like me and her was kind of like, like for real, for real, like she wasn't attracted to me at all. But I looked at it like I don't really think she'll bring the package. So like my pursuit game with me already, like I'm not trying to holler at CO women, which I should. But it's just so much politics that comes with it. I just did. I just didn't pursue her in that type of way. Like me and her just will have conversations about the street and she'll tell me what's going on. She'll tell me how it is, where she's from. And she'll tell me what, how to like, just how everything is. Like she asked me how much time I had. You know what I mean? I told her, I gave her the truth and it was a little minute left. I had like, like seven years left when I told her that. So that was a minute. So, but for the most part, she just was a good chick. Like she wouldn't like push no police issues. She wouldn't do none of these things, man. So like, as me and her just always kick it, like we just used to always like, I will always find a time to kick it with her without dudes being so nosy and without it looking like I'm hollering at her because I really wasn't. I should have, but I really wasn't. But when I used to come out, I had a job. I used to come out and sweep up after every time it was right before lockdown, they'll call lockdown. I'll stay out until they get ready to actually come into the pod and count. Like, and then I'll have going myself. But until then, it'd be a, me and another dude. We'll be out in the pod just sweeping up, boom, 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 with the broom, sweep the game. You know what I mean? Get the, get the stuff off the floor, get the trash. You know what I mean? Easy job. So she used to be in there waiting for count always. Like, she'll be in the booth. And then she'll just make it her business to come down and count. I don't know. Maybe because I was working, she knew I would be down there. I didn't know. But at the end of the day, y'all, I started liking this woman on the low. Not like... Ah, like I, I'm in love with her, but it's like same time, I'm like sizing her ass up now because I'm like, I think I might can get this one. You know what I mean? She was this lady I'm talking about, man. Like, like I said, she wasn't all that attractive. She was short. She was brown skin. She was she 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 used to wear the she used to have braids a lot. You know what I mean? So I'm assuming she didn't have a lot of hair. She had a big old booty. I'm talking about a big old booty, and she was kind of like short with a big old booty, but she wasn't all that at all. So now that I'm starting to like her. I'm like, damn, I'm going to make my move. So prior to me making my move, I end up falling back. I said I wasn't going to do it. One time I thought I was going to make my move. And then the other dude I seen that was working out there, I seen he job be talking to her too. So he I, he looked like he was in love in the eyeballs. His eyeball, the way he was looking at it when he was talking, it looked like old boy was in love. So I didn't do it. I did not do it. Boom. Out of nowhere, the next day, man, they moved my homeboy Johnny to the pod. I see him coming in. Now, my homeboy Johnny, I'm happy that he's coming in, but Johnny is one of these dudes from Norfolk that he's really quiet. He's not a dude that be messing with a lot of dudes from Norfolk, and he's not a dude that be, he's not a dude that wasn't in a gang as well. He was younger than me, and I was shocked that he wasn't in a gang. But at the same time, I ended up meeting him when I was over in San Francisco. He was one of the dudes in the block with me, you know what I mean? And he was one of the dudes that didn't want to be over there. He was trying to get the hell out of there, too. So I used to always go outside. You know what I mean? Johnny used to know how to ball. He had a decent little game. You know what I mean? Crossover game. <laughs> he used to do his little thing. You know what I mean? But 
he would always get in this shit over that basketball court. So it was like, I used to tell him, like, yo, look, bro, you, that basketball court gonna be your demise, my guy. You gotta chill out from that basketball court sometime, bro. Cause like so many dudes, like even with him being from Norfolk, like dudes wanna let dudes jump on his ass. But at the same time, though, like he was quiet, stay out the way. But the basketball court was his main thing. His second main thing was he used to always be down in the woman face. He's always being a lady face. Always, always, always trying to holler at a lady. You know what I mean? And I used to tell him about that. I used to be like, look, bro, you can get a jump, bro. I was like, you just be looking too thirsty. You know what I mean? Like, you just be like, you'll walk with her and like force her to talk to your ass. She'll, the lady will come in and do rounds. And he like, you know what I mean? While she's doing rounds, he's right beside her. That's something you really don't supposed to do in penitentiary because it could be somebody in their cell or it could be somebody in the shower, anything, gunning. Y'all already know the count. Somebody could be doing that. So that can start shit. You fuck around and move around and be walking and, and you see something you don't want to see. Then you want to fight. That's a problem. So I used to tell him like, look, bro, just stop acting thirsty and you might can bag. You know what I mean? I was like, bro, you all right, bro? Like, just relax. You're going to get a jump. Just chill out. Just to quit being all over the damn place. You know what I mean? And he used to listen for the most part because he was a little bit younger than me. But he was just a hothead slightly as a quiet dude, which was weird. So, boom, I see him moving into our pod. I'm like, damn, how the hell you get over here? He was like, man, I wasn't 70, man. He was like, God damn, I think somebody wrote me out of that shit. He said, they just called and told me, pack up, I'm moving to the north side. So, boom, he was like, yeah, I wanted to get over here anyway. He was like, yo, don't see your such and such work over here. I'm like, he talking about the jump. That's supposed to like. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, yo, this word I called it a medical bro like two weeks ago. He was like, man, I was down on the top. You hear me? He was I was on the top. And he was like, she was feeling me, man. Got down. He was like, quiet as kept, bro. She told me to move over here. You know what I mean? I'm like, for real. He like, yeah. So I'm thinking, bro, well, and I ain't even gonna lie. Probably because I was feeling her. <laughs> I'm thinking, bro, well, and I'm like, man, bro, listen, this she told you move over here. Alright, so boom. Now he's over here. She 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 was she was working early that day. Now this is the uh the next day. She's working. And then when she came in, she was in the booth. And I seen when she was in the booth, I seen bro standing downstairs and the booth is like over like up in the sky. Like not in the sky, but just up. You know what I mean? And they can come down and look down at us and we can look up at them. And she came and she was looking down. And the, the uh my homeboy Johnny, he like, you know what I mean? I seen like, you know what I mean? That's my word. She switched and came on the floor. She came on the floor. She was hollering at bro the whole time. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not a hater. And I wasn't looking like, man, fuck, bro, man. I, nah, no. I, no, I, I got to say, that's not my position. Do what he, what he do. That's not my position. Now, if she rock with me, I'll shoot my shot. Only reason I was feeling her like that is because I used to have massive private time with her. So, boom. It's time to lock down. Boom. We locked down. I'm out there cleaning up. She out there. You know what I mean? So I, you know, I just kept it cool. You know what I mean? I'm just doing my thing, sweeping, boom, 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 boom. She was like, yo, white. I'm like, yo. So she's standing over there by the microwave. I walked over there. She was like, damn. She was like, I ain't even know they moved your homeboy Johnny over here. He said, your homeboy. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I rock with bro. He cool as a bitch. You know what I mean? She was like, yeah, he is cool. You know what I mean? But I kind of seen her eyes. I seen the twinkle. I was like, damn. Like I said, I wasn't hating. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like I say, women come into that prison to choose. They're going to choose who they want to be. You can have all the game in the world. You can have all the swag in the damn world. The woman CEO is going to choose who she wants to be with. And that's just how it go. Ask anybody at any prison. That's how it goes. So I had no room to act like I'm jealous or I'm hating at any of these things. I, I, I wasn't thinking none of these things. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So look. Boom. The next day, I mean, when we come back out, you know what I mean? Before they switched shifts, he was down on it, talking to her. The little normal shit, you know what I mean? Down on the top, the whole pod, noticing his other dudes in the pod that probably got a crush on her. But they see the new bro come over here, bro on her ass, you know what I mean? Goddamn. So look, the next day come, you know what I mean? Bro hollering at her. We locked down. I clean up as I'm cleaning up. She was in the closet. We got a little closet area over here. It's the microwave area. It's the phones. And then the closet door is right here. You open that door, have all the cleaning supplies and have stuff in there. Now, if you're smooth and lucky, you might can go in there and get some poop -poo if you're brave. You might get toe off. But that was a closet. Man. It was deep. You can go in there and pause. You can go in there and like, you know what I mean? So the door was open. But half of the pod can't really see in the closet if it's open. But you can close it up a little bit and that'll block out the whole pod. So I see her getting me to, you know what I mean? Like, So I walk over there. I'm like, what's up? She like, come in. She like, close the door up a little bit. I'm like, hmm? 
I'm thinking it's the big one, y'all, even though they about to count. There's no way I can get no poo-poo. I know it, so, but I'm still thinking it's the big one. I'm like, that is the big one, Elizabeth. But it wasn't. I walk in, she said, she said, wait, look. She's like, I gotta tell you something. I'm like, what? She was like, look, I like your homeboy, right? I'm like, <laughs> I felt like a melted ice cream in the summertime, you hear me? <laughs> Slightly I felt melted. I didn't feel jealousy, I felt melted. I was like, ah, oh, not defeated either, just melted, ah. Oh. I was like, oh yeah? She was like, yeah, I like your homeboy. She was like, but look, he too damn wild. Like, he just don't listen to me. I'm trying to tell him, like, just chill out. But he just too damn wild. She was like, see if you can talk to him. He trying to get me to bring some weed in. And I told him I ain't bringing no weed in right now. It's hot. You know, it was hot over on the south side. And they got dogs and all that stuff. And, like, he just got to wait. I'm like, so So when she say that, I'm like, damn. Like, she's willing to rock with bro. So now I switched off. I get myself together now. I'm like, for real? I'm like, yo, well, look, I'll talk to him. I was like, I'm going to highlight him. I'm like, don't worry about it. Just take your time. I was like, but you going to bring him something? She was like, I'm going to bring him some tobacco. You know what I mean? But he got to stop trying to pressure me. He want phones, weed, da 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 So he hasn't been telling me all this. So I'm like, well, look, I'll highlight him, man. So now I'm like, damn, boom, I leave out. I go back to my cell. I'm thinking to myself. I'm like, I'm like, damn. So like, can I play... Can I play middleman to this right here? Can I be a middleman and win a little bit with this? Because like, if she came and told me the information, and that's how off the chain Lawrenceville used to be. If she would, if she would just plainly just call me, knowing that I slightly liked her, and just come and volunteer the information to me, she must be looks at me as someone that she thinks that can help bro move in the right direction, even if she does decide to help him with other things. So I'm like, damn, I'm thinking in my head, I'm thinking, ah. Shit, I gotta holler at bro as soon as we come out. Boom, we come out. I holler at bro. I went straight to the cell. Like, yo, I'm at you. He's like, what's up? I'm like, yo, come outside, bro. His cell was in there. We step outside the door. I'm like, yo, look. I said, bro, look. See, yo, such and such feeling you, bro. I was like, she feeling you, bro. She told me out of her own damn mouth that she like you. He was like, for real. He was like, I got her. I know I got her, bro. He said, them niggas be hating, but I got her. I said, but look. I said, bro, she said, you moving too fast. She said, you tell her, tell her to bring phones and weed. I said, don't get me wrong. I know you want these things. I said, but bro, you ain't never hustled up here, bro. You out of here, you gonna handle business. Like, I said, bro, you gonna get hot immediately. Niggas find out you got phones and weed. I said, bro, it's gonna be a wrap for her, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? I said, you don't wanna do that off the rip because you never sold nothing before. I said, so if anybody, if it gets out that you have these things, everybody's gonna know that she brought these things. So I'm like, use your brain, McFly. Think, McFly. Think, goddammit. What are you doing? So he like, damn, damn, big bro, you right. Damn, big bro, you right. I'm like, well, look, this is what I'm saying, bro. I was like, bro, crawl before you walk. You know what I mean? I was like, you got to, bro. Like He was like, bro, I'm trying to fuck. He was like, bro, see if we can switch and let me clean up one night. And goddamn, because I'm trying to I'm trying to hit her, bro. I'm trying to hit her like she, she'll let me hit her. You know what I mean? But I just got to have time. I said, bro, listen. You're not going to have time to hit her in the closet through count time. Even though I was trying to hit her. I was like, bro, you're not going to have time. I said, listen, that's not important right now. I know you want some poo-poo. I said, but look, bro, get her to start bringing the tobacco game in. I said, you get the tobacco. You know what I mean? I said, you smoke cigarettes. I said, all right. I said, you get the tobacco. Give it to me. I'm going to make the money. I'm going to make the food in the pot. I'm going to get all that shit, bro. Hit you off. All that. You ain't got to worry about nothing. We're going to hit her off. All that shit. So he was like, damn. So when she come in, what should I tell her to bring me? I was like, bro, listen, bro. I said, bro, tell her bring you, tell her bring you a bag of tobacco, bro. You know what I mean? He was like, all right, bet. You know what I mean? Now I'm thinking a bag of tobacco, y'all. Tobacco game is crazy. It was so much damn tobacco on Lawrenceville. They had a nickname for it. They used to call it Hank. Ask anybody. They'd be like, yo, what a Hank at? Who got the Hank? Who what a Hank? The Hank is tobacco. I don't know why they nicknamed it this, but that's what dudes dudes didn't say, yo, who got the tobacco? No, dudes say, who got the Hank? Ask any damn body. It was Hank every goddamn well. So look, boom. She come to work. He holler at her. He put it down. You know what I mean? After he talked to her, he came back to me and was like, yo, look, bro. You know what I mean? She said she feeling everything. She said she with it. You know what I mean? 
She said, God damn, I just got to stop wilding. You know what I mean? He was like, she got a friend that worked the other side. And she told him when I was in the gym fighting and when I was outside fighting, bro. You know what I mean? She was like, she ain't messing with no wild dude, but she she rocked with me, bro. You know what I mean? He was like, she know I'm about to go home. Now, Johnny also had a year and a half left. So I'm like, damn, bro, dumb short on the low. You know what I mean? Bro didn't have a lot of time. Bro ended up catching... A, a malicious wounding and a gun charge. I think they dropped the gun charge and just left him with the malicious wounding. He got six years. He got to his receiving camp, wild out up there over the damn basketball court, and then they sent his ass. He's supposed to have went to a level two for real, for real, which is like St. Brides, Indian Creek, Haynesville, things like that. The, the 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 open dorm compounds, which is a lower level, which is good prisons. He's supposed to have went to that, but when he messed up at receiving, and messed his level up, and they sent him to a level three, which was Lawrenceville, which he was still Gucci, but at the end of the day, though, like, he didn't have a lot of time. So now I'm, I'm looking at the whole situation like, damn, this can play out good because, like, when bro go home, I can still be quarterback in this joint. Shorty wasn't the type of lady that was, like, super hot. Like, she would come to, all the women would talk to inmates, so talking to inmates wouldn't look suspicious. What looks suspicious is, after you talk to these people, then you have the sack. So now, I was going to just stop talking to her like that now, because I didn't give bro to play, or what to do. So, boom, bro haul at her, you know what I mean? The next day come, next day you know, I'm chilling in the cell. I seen she was at work, I seen when they did outside wreck, I seen bro go out in the hallway, you know what I mean? She was out there letting wreck out. And then he came back in the pod. When he came back in the pod, I went in the room. I just started doing something. I forgot what I was doing. I look up, I hear a knock. Yo. He's like, what's up, bro? We there? I'm like, yo, come in, bro. I see his him. Come in. Boom, he come in and jump. Boom. He grabbed my cut. I'll keep my cut on the floor. I used to have like a little Tupperware black, one of them little black Tupperware things they had food in before. And I have a little old sh blanket. Boom, cut up in a little wrong rectangle. Boom, that'll be my cut. I'll put that on the door. Boom, he grabbed my cut. Boom, put it on the door, cover my window. I'm like, what's up? He's like, look, bro, went in his pants. Bro came out with five packs of Newports, the Cadillacs. I said, oh, shit. I said, damn. I said, bro, what happened to the bag? He said, man, she ain't. He was like, man, she knows somebody that work at the local smoke shop, bro. She ain't even trying to go up there and do that so she can buy cigarettes at any gas station, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, this a dude, bro. I was like, she gave you a half a cotton? I was like, bro, we about to snap. I said, for real, for real. Each pack is a buck, you know what I mean? So I was like, look, this is what I'm going to do. I said, I'm going to sell two packs for you, get you 200. I said, get that to her. I said, give her 200. I said, God damn, take a pack, smoke on a low. Don't let nobody know you're smoking, you know what I mean? I said, I'm going to get another pack, break that down, you know what I mean? Then I'm going to keep a pack. Bro was like, boom, that sound good, bro. He was like, that sound good, bro, because you know, I ain't even really trying to goddamn mess with these niggas for real anyway. So, you know, he feeling himself. So, boom, I waited till she left. Boom, when she left, that's when he came out. I, I came out with it. So, boom, everybody know I got the tobacco. I got the Hank, goddammit. Everybody know I got the Hank. I'm running around that joint. Boom, boom. I sold a pack to the white dude, boom, for $100. And I sold another pack to the dude in, in the honor part, 32. Got the $200 cash fast. Got that quick. Boom. Got that money. Boom. Gave the bro. Like, look, get out to her, bro. You know what I mean? So he like, all right, bet. You know what I mean? Started selling shit in the pod. I get the old head dude to start pumping the, uh, the roll-ups in the pod. You know what I mean? Boom. Everything looking great. I'm sitting back like a fat cat at this time, y'all. It wasn't a whole lot of money involved at the moment. You know what I mean? I'm thinking in the future, it can be. It can be a shitload of money in the future. This lady booty is this damn big. She can stuff a goddamn watermelon in her butt. So I'm like, yo. In the future, I'm going to shut this shit down. I'm like, once bro go home, I'm going to have him prepped. Ah, we going to do it. So I ain't going to lie, y'all. Like, it was going on, like, for a while. Like, this was going on for a while. She wouldn't bring him, like, tobacco all the damn time. But she would bring him tobacco when he was on it, when he was messed up. And I started seeing how bro carry it when he get his shit. I will, this is my word. Off that first play, y'all. I gave bro $200. I gave him a pack. Goddamn. Sold a pack. Mouse of commissary. I gave bro like three bags of commissary. That's my word, man. Bro got a gamble problem on the low that I didn't even know. So now that he has all these dumbass miscellaneous, um, miscellaneous items, tuna fishes, salmons, and cheese blocks, and all this shit, he's going down to the poker table gambling or he's playing the parlay, which is the fan duel of prison. He's playing the tickets. 
So I'm like, damn, bro, this tricking it off. But at the end of the day, I'm not really mad at him because he's about to go to the crib. So now it's probably about a year left now. It probably was in a year and a half when this was going on. I know he was dumb short when all this was going on. So as all of this is going on, like I say, I'm just sitting in the cut and I'm just collecting. She will at least come through once a month. And I was happy with that because I didn't want bro to go out of control. You know what I mean? And got down trying to, ah, oh, let's do it. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep doing it. Next thing you know, she's tore off before he's go home, before he goes home. And then there's no future plans for me. No, I wasn't doing that. I was playing it safe. I'll never complain. Bro will come back. Hey, look, bro, I'm going to get her to bring something, bro, before we go to the store after the scratch. We were going to commissary stretch every month. It'd be like a two week joint that everybody would have to re up all over again. Then she would bring it. So it was like once a month, she would bring them like five packs. We'll do the same thing. So everything was smooth. I'm selling whole cigarettes for $15. That's my word. $15, you get the whole Cadillac. Dudes that get the whole Cadillac cigarette and break the cigarette. <laughs> Break it like in five pieces. I think a Cadillac can go five, maybe six pieces. But each piece you break off, you can roll up in rolling paper. And it's a roll up. That's how it was going down in there. You can sell roll ups. You can sell old cigarettes. I was selling both. You know what I mean? So everything is going smooth in there, man. Great operation. You know what I mean? So boom. They call the gym one day. We have the gym. And when you go to the gym, sometimes it be a lot of dudes. It be dudes from everywhere in the gym for real. Because sometimes if you can get in there, you're in there. And it's so easy to get back to your building and get up out of there. It'd be very sell. It'd be very rare for a CEO to stop you. Like, hey, you're in 80 building. What are you doing in the gym? No, you're going to gym. No, they don't give a damn. Once you come out the gym, you go to your building. That's just what it is. So everybody be in the gym. So boom. We go to the gym. You know what I mean? I go to the gym this time. I swear to meet my homeboy from the other side of the yard over there. Talk about selling some selling some blows over there. That's what we used to call them too, the blows, cigarettes. I'm like, damn, I'm going to go to the gym. So I go to the gym with bro. Of course, bro is playing basketball. They got two sides of the gym. They got one side. They got one side of the gym. You know what I mean? Got down. It's a full court. Then it's like a middle section. They got little offices, the bathrooms. and I mean, not the bathrooms, little offices, little openings. And then you, it's a little hallway. Then you walk and you'll be in the other full court. So it was two, it was a full court on the outside, which is the north side, a full court on the south side. But this is the gym. The gym is in the middle of the compound. So, boom. I'm in there talking to my man. After I finish talking with him, you know what I mean? I'm walking back in the hallway. And I'm about to go to see what's going on on the other side of the court, which was my, my part was at majority. So I walk over there. As I'm walking over there, I see my homeboy, old head. He wasn't really an old head. He was older than me, but he see me as I'm walking. He see me. He like. He like, oh, look, look, Weezy, go turn around, bro. Turn around. I'm like, turn around for what? He like, man, they in there wrecking, bro. I'm like, who wrecking? He like, man, your homeboy. I'm like, my homeboy. Oh, hell no. I go in the jail. I look. I see him. It's him and another dude against like five Richmond dudes. They rumbling, though. My dude, my homeboy, rumbling. They, he getting it in. He rumbling. He doing what he can. He rumbling. You know what I mean? But the dude he's rumbling is an official Richmond dude. I'm trying to tell him, you know what I mean? If I could have told him, I would have told him, leave that one alone. My homeboy got hot, you know what I mean? But his fight game ain't like the hot. He got more hot than fists. <laughs> like, so, like, he was rumbling. He was rumbling the dude from Richmond. The dude from Richmond kind of getting him, but they rumbling. But it's a five on, it's a five on two. So I see one dude from Richmond, like, they, they start slinging shit in there. Like, as I'm walking into the joint, I see shit, shit, shit flying, they rumbling. So I see one dude from Richmond, he get a chair. And he about to hit my home boy. I come like I didn't jump into the fight. But as I walked out, I grabbed a chair. Hold. Oh, grabbed a damn chair from him. Oh no, no chairs. And Richmond dude looked back at me. And I'm saying in my head, if he bucked, then it's just I'm in, I'm in this shit now. But I'm trying to like I rock with the other dude from Richmond. He was an older dude. I'm like, look at this shit, man. So as they fighting, I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? I get in between this shit. I didn't want to. I'm like, yo, bro. I, I stopped my homeboy. I'm like, yo, boom. They back up. They coming. I'm like, yo, my homeboy from Richmond. He like, yo, Weezer, you ain't got shit to do with this. That nigga got a lot of mouth. Watch out, watch out. I'm like, yo. I'm like, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I like, listen. I said, listen, man. I got him, bro. This is my little homeboy, man. I got him, man. He was like, no, I got to have that nigga. I got to have that nigga. I'm like, yo, look. I said, man, y'all chill out. So now, a couple of other dudes from the town that came in here. So now, nigga, see that I'm in it. Nigga's like, yo, what the f I'm like, yo, hold on. Ain't nothing going on. Boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to kill it. Got down. The dude from Richmond, I'm like, yo, let me holler at you, man. I said, tell your homies, I said, tell your niggas, chill out. I said, let me holler at you, bro, one on one. He was like, all right, so boom, me and him walk. Got down. I'm like, look, bro, 
I said, man, I got a situation going on, bro, man. I said, God damn, motherfucking. He was like, look, well, if you got a situation, he do, he got to pay me, bro. He said, that nigga told me suck his dick. I was like, what? He was like, yeah, we were cursing each other out. But he came out of his mouth and said, he was like, bro, you lucky I don't stab his ass, shawty. I'm like, man, listen. I mean, look, bro. He was like, nah, bro. He got to pay me, bro. Or fight me, bro. One or the other, bro. I'm like, man, shh. So I'm like, bro, don't fill up. I'm like, oh, so what you want, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we, me and him are not going to be able to beat the whole damn Richmond. And if we do get our brains jumped, that means I got to go get a weapon. And then I'm leaving Lawrenceville. Then nobody wins all behind this nigga like to play basketball. So I'm saying in my head, I'm going to tell this, bro, even though this is the wackest shit ever. But just to keep the play, just give, bro some, just give him some cigarettes. We had just got some cigarettes. I'm like, I go back. I'm like, yo, look, bro, we gone, bro. The gym will open up, boom, we leave. Everybody go back, everybody all hype. What the fuck going on? I'm like, yo, ain't nothing going on. Y'all let that shit go. Me and him walking back. I'm like, yo, look, bro. I said, man, look, I rock with bro, man. Bro told me you told him you invited him to your private part. He was like, yeah, I shouldn't have said that shit, man. He was like, man, nigga had me mad as a bitch, but I'm going to go, though. I'm going to go, though. I'm like, yeah, I know you're going to go. I said, but bro, serious dude, bro, goddamn. Like, you know what I mean? He said, goddamn, just throwing some cigarettes, bro. Or just, you know what I mean? Goddamn, well, he got to have you, bro. Like, y'all got to fight. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, damn, man, this shit's stupid as a bitch, man. So, goddamn, dude, dude, like, yo, you know what I mean? Dude, like, yo, he see me as they going back. I mean, I'm standing in the hallway. I done sent my little homeboy in the pod. My homeboy from Richmond walked by. He see me, like, yo, bro, holler at him, bro. Let me know at dinner, bro. Like, real shit. I'm like, all right, I'm going to let you know. You know what I mean? Boom. Now, I could have told him. Forget dude, you know what I mean? Don't pay this dude nothing. Like, it is what it is. Like, at the end of the day, ain't no more banking going on, you know what I mean? But I didn't even want my little homeboy to fight this man one-on-one. -on -one. Why? Because it was going to turn out ugly. Like, he cannot beat this man. I know he can't beat this man. So I'm telling him, like, yo, listen, bro. I get him. I said, man, look. I go in there, I holler at him. I said, look, bro. I said, man, throw bro like five cigarettes, bro. I said, throw him like five cigarettes, man. Goddamn, Peter Pay Paul, bro. I said, we're going to get it back, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I said, bro, you disrespected the hell out of that dude, bro. I was like, I ain't taking up for him. I said, at the same time, we got a situation, right? I said, we got something going on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I mean? It's levels to this shit, Johnny. Like, you gotta, you can't be trying to get bread. I know you about to go home. You don't really care. You trying to do this and do that, but you want to live good for this, this year you got left. Which one, bro? Like, it's, you gotta, like, come on, man. So he think he thought about it real bad, and I felt like he was trying to figure out, like, would I be a bitch if I do this? You know what I mean? But he know I'm not going to tell nobody he did this. You know what I mean? And who cares what everybody else is saying? We got the cigarettes. Ain't nobody going to take none. Ain't nobody going to disrespect none of that shit. So he thought about it, and I'm like, I'm like, damn, man. I'm like, this shit crazy as shit, man. Like, you know what I mean? He was like, man, I ain't getting them shit, bro. Fuck it, man. He just got it. It is what it is, bro. I ain't trying to mess nothing up. But if he wanna, if he wanna wreck, bro, he can wreck, bro. You know what I mean? I said, all right, I'm gonna tell him, bro, come over here. Y'all wreck. You know what I mean? If we can be even, you know what I mean? But I'm like, listen, bro. Listen to me, bro. You don't wanna fight this man. I'm telling you, you don't wanna fight this man, bro. Just he like, man, nah. So look, boom. Now the lady didn't come to work. You know what I mean? I see him down there talking to the lady. Somehow the lady didn't get winning this shit. So when we locked down, got down, she pulled up on me. She like, yo, what's going on? I'm like, ain't nothing going on. She like, I thought you was holding them down. I'm like, I am holding them down. I wanted to say, got down. I thought you was going to give me the pussy. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't say that, but got down. I'm like, I am holding them down, man. Got down, but you know, like, like, like bro, wow, sometime, man. I was like, he played basketball. I can't, I'm not God. I can't stop every damn thing. She was like, yeah, see, that's why I told him I ain't doing nothing for him because he moves stupid. Why is he going to play basketball and he got all this going on? Like, I'm just trying to watch him. Like, I'm not trying to risk my job. She said, I got kids. I got to support them. I got to do this i got bills to pay like i can't be doing this if he and i wanted to say right then and there we we'll just come fuck with a real nigga but i'm not a hater i'm not nobody that be doing stuff like that my mind i hit my mind one time but i shook it but i'll be lying if i say it didn't hit my mind so i let her vent for a minute and i'm like yo listen i'm gonna holler at her man like i didn't want to tell her what's in store tomorrow for him you know what i mean so boom i'm i'm locked down in my cell i'm trying to figure out like damn how can I get bro around this shit? Like, how? How can I get him around this shit, man? Like, bro just, you know what I mean? I'm like, damn. So, boom. Nothing I can do. Next day come, boom. 
God damn, I see bro at breakfast, bro. Like, yo, what's up? I'm like, yo, look, I tried to get him to give you some cigarettes, bro. I said, but look, he ain't coming off shit, man. I said, so look, he said he'll run with you, bro. I said, just coming out part after lunch, bro. And y'all get that shit over with for him. Be five on two and that shit again. I said, you know you rock with me. I said, I rock with him. He disrespected you. You got to handle your business. You know what I mean? I said, I appreciate you not getting a weapon, though. I said, because for that type of stuff, that's dangerous. I said, but this is my little guy. He get fly. You know how these young dudes is. This, you know what I mean? Y'all shoot the one. He was like, bad. He was like, bad. All right. You know what I mean? Bro, got them go holler at some of his homies. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, lunchtime come, I seen bro coming in the pod. Now, they had this dude down in the corner handicap cell. His cell, they, they used to make his cell the fighting cell. They used to call that the octagon, goddammit, because you go in there and it's the fight. They close that damn door and you fight. So he come in there. There's already some Richmond dudes in there, but they know I know dude. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing like that. And I wasn't pushing it to be like nothing like that. So the dude from Richmond come in there, you know what I mean? Niggas was like, yo, boom, I'm gonna go in this cell right here. Already I told his homeboy from Richmond, his homeboy from Richmond hollering at him. Boom. Dude going in ASAP. My homeboy coming down the steps. He strapped up. I'm like, yo, bro, listen, bro. <laughs> you sure you don't wanna get his man no cigarettes, man? He was like, nah. Nah, bro. Fuck that, bro. I'm like, alright. Boom. They go in the jump. I stand right there. Psh, I close the door. He had two homeboys. It was me. It was two of his homeboys and me. I close the door. Boom. I promise y'all, this my word. That shit, y'all remember when Charlie Brown be fighting, all you see is the dust and fists and feet. Man, that's all you saw. Them niggas hit each other. Boom, boom, boom. Them niggas going at it. Boom, 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 boom. I'm sure I can't even lock in. There's so many damn fists blowing. My homeboy, my little homeboy, know how to fight now. He just fighting a seasoned vet. Man, they get it thumping, man. He hit the dude. Boom. He catch the dude from Richmond as the dude Richmond falling back. He grabbed bro. Shirt. He grabbed bro's shirt, man. Bro try to come about the shirt. As bro try to come about the shirt, the shirt gets stuck right here. When the shirt gets stuck right there, man, dude from Richmond uppercut it is like, and when he uppercut it, he came up and he tried to rip the shirt off. By the time he ripped the shirt off, it was another punch coming. And I seen that shit. That shit said, that shit hit his ass right in his goddamn eye. He hit that joint. He tried to weave that jump. Dude was on him. Boom. I bro can't do nothing with ball up, dude. Hit him with a goddamn mortal, with a with a ultra fighter, goddamn fifty piece combo. <laughs> man, I threw that man, bro from Richmond threw so many goddamn blows, man. Bro just balled up. He was taking body shots. <laughs> Shit was going through the guard. <laughs> man, he gave him like a fifty piece. I couldn't. Have, I said, yo, that's it, bro. That's it, y'all, y'all. I said, you good, bro? He was like, yeah, man, get that nigga out of here. Nigga, you watch your mouth next time, shorty. Got down. I grabbed my homeboy. I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, bro, come on. He was like, man. He wanted to fight some more. I'm like, man, bring your dumb ass, man. I get him out of the cell. Got down. We go back to his cell. We go in his jump. Everybody looking as we go up the steps. He looking crazy as a bitch. We get to his cell. Got down. He go look in the mirror. I'm standing at the door, looking out the door. As he in the mirror right behind me. He turned around. He said, bro. He said, my shit fucked up. I said, damn. Get your money, don't care who judge Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love Stay out the way, if you a gangster, killer or thug Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement Now your name on affidavits and court indictments can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless. You did the crime, you do the time. Don't let it surprise you. Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes up. Get your money, don't care who judge. Stay out the way, surround yourself with nothing but love. Stay out the way, if you a gangster, killer or thug. Stay out the way, put your faith in the man above. Stay out the way, chill with your family, siblings and blood. Stay out the way, kick it with your girl, forget hit in the club. Stay out the way, mind on your money, ain't no switching it up. Stay out the way, stand out the way, what you thought that it was. Stay out the way, if you stuck down on your luck, not feeling righteous. Did a petty crime, just looking for some excitement. Now your name on affidavits and court indictments can pay for a lot, but your freedom is priceless. You did the crime, you do the time, don't let it surprise you. Real stories from the heart, just to open your eyes up.